five. I don't know. All right, it says that we are offline though. Oh, okay, we were just having a little bit of a delay. We'll give it a few seconds to do whatever it's doing. Actually, let me turn off my TV because that's going to give us there. Because otherwise, that's just going to give us a really bad health, stream health. So. And I debated turning on my lamp. I think I will. Well, that didn't do much, but hopefully it looks a little better. And it still says that it's not... Let's refresh. Maybe that'll help. I wonder why it's not... Well, it says it's live now, so hopefully it's able to be seen. Make sure my mic is on. Okay. <laughs> so, of course, there's always going to be, you know, two minutes of what's going on. Because <laughs> I hope it's working. I'll give it a Well, okay, so I think the event will take you to the actual actual stream, I guess. That's interesting. Good to know. Okay, so welcome back to the Story Cube Card Saturday. And it is Saturday number two of hopefully many. <laughs> but basically, we make a card with the Story Cube prompts, which, if you haven't seen Story Cubes before, these are Story Cubes. Okay, let's make sure I am in frame here. Actually, what I want to do. Because once again, the um, YouTube thingy, the video, is not in sync with actually the liveness. So <laughs> it's a lot different, harder to control. But hopefully, when, well, if people show up, it won't be too much of a lag. So that way I can chat easily back and forth. So once again, sorry, distracted. Story cubes. These are story cubes. You can find them at like Barnes and Noble, I believe, I don't know, Amazon. They're pretty much everywhere. But they're just cubes that you roll and try to make a story out of. It's pretty self-explanatory, really. But you know, fun stuff. But I'm using them for crafting purposes. So ingenuity, right? So, figure I'll wait a little bit here. See if any button pops on. Not really. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to do a card base that will fit these cool little envelopes that Daniel got at the Dollar Tree but then didn't use. So, thinking I might do something with these. So let's try and figure out a measurement. And that way it'll be easier to make a card base. And even if I don't go with the this size of a card, then 
I have it handy for a different time. So if we're using an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, a cardstock, then our measurement of the envelope is four and one eighth by nine and a half. So what we're going to do is probably, I'm thinking, is one eighth enough in between? Probably not. So what I'm going to do is actually make it probably three and a half by nine I think so that will fit oh no my glue gun just attacked me nothing like a hot glue gun trying to kill you <laughs> okay be safe glue gun oh no look I made a little droplet <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> nine. Where was my train of thought? Okay, so if we're going to do three and a half by nine, then that me means we need to do a piece of paper that is. My mind is drawing a blank. Because 9 is going to be the width, because that is the width of the, no, length of the envelope. So we don't need to cut into 9. So we need a 7 by 9. Because when you fold it, okay, you're going to score at, and then it will be 3.5. And then that'll get us a seven. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> Just watch. We're going to go and cut this piece of paper, and it's going to be like, oh, all wrong. <laughs> because that is math in me. <laughs> okay. You guys are probably like, no, that's wrong. <laughs> okay. So it doesn't seem like anyone's going to come on yet. Or. Oh, I don't know. So let's go ahead and roll these out. And we'll see our prompt. Last week it was an apple, a moon, and the water fountain. So let's see what we get here. Well, I kind of don't want to do the moon and the apple again. But, I mean, we're going to have to do it anyways. So... Or should I re-roll? No. And then the mystery. What should we make the mystery? That's an interesting question. Hmm. A mystery. Is that like make something up? Or I don't know. That'll be interesting to see. Let's look through some paper. And see what I want to do. Ba -ba -da -ba -dum. So I've got a, what is this? It's one of those ornament um, cases, or I don't know what they're called. They're storage. It's a storage bin. And I actually got it on... Um, from it was Joanne's and it was on sale because it was end of Christmas so, so I have apple paper I have star paper <laughs> we have quite a lot of paper really that I could work with let's see 
Does anything grab my attention? Can't believe we got the moon and the apple again. <laughs> this is nerdy. <laughs> but hey, they're story cubes. What do you expect? Maybe I should look at my stamps first and decide. Because that's, that's generally how I work. Like, the paper doesn't really inspire me too much. It's more of the stamps that I have. Alright, so let's see. We have... Let's look in my bin that's closest. I'm not sure what to do about that question mark. It's not coming to my mind. So let's see what we got. Oh, my ear hurts. I've been feeling weird all day. I think Daniel got me sick. A moon, an apple, and a question mark. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's looking inspiring, really. So let's look in here. Just going to get some ideas going. Oh no. Get back in there. A moon, an apple, and a question mark. Well, I have question mark stamps. I mean, that's not an issue if I wanted to go literal. Literally. Because, I mean, what could go with a question mark? Hmm. Huh. I don't know. Is there like a question mark sentiment? Like, where are you going, or what you up to? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just thinking, thinking things through, trying to decide on what to do. Oh, oh, I think I have an idea. Oh, but, okay. So I haven't showed you guys this haul yet. But I'm going to use a stamp set from it. And I knew this was going to happen. I didn't want to bug the my feed too much on, you know, videos. And I had just posted a video, so. But I'm, I'm going to do something with, with that. So is that question mark big enough? Yeah, that's like my biggest question mark. Okay. Uh, I knew it was going to end up happening. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't just, you know, decide to do it. So I haven't shown you this yet, but it will be in my haul video that is going to be up the... The 22nd, I believe. Okay, so I have... I got this mustache stamp at Michael's. So, But you have to go and watch the haul video anyways on the 26th. I knew I should have just posted it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use the mustache and a question mark. Okay, let's look at some other stamps. This is going to be fun. <laughs> okay. I'm wondering if my other, my clear stamp set would work better. If I can actually, like, position that. Does it have a question mark? I don't see one. It has an exclamation point and the uh, 
the and sign. <laughs> Can't think of what it's called. So that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to use these sketchy ones. And these are from Hero Arts. It doesn't have a name, I don't think. But they're sketchy. I mean, that's all I can <laughs> describe them as. I'm surprised these don't, this one doesn't have a question mark. Normally the alphas do. That's interesting. Okay. So we won't use that. And I think that's going to be it, really. Because I don't think I have any other... So I'm wondering what hmm. I am thinking <laughs> thoughts and thoughts. It would be like I must ask you a question. But then what is the question? It should be another like... Another stamp set on here maybe. Huh. Or maybe if I can find another manly-ish. Stamp. Ooh, this is gonna be fun though. This will be interesting. Or like there's I I used these on the last ones and it says how many well, I used a different one, but this one says how many fingers are you? Huh. Let's see. I do What should we do? I think because I mean that's kind of cute. Like I must ask you a question. How many fingers are you? Right? Or maybe I'll think of another one while another kind of question while I work on it. So I'm thinking I want to do I kind of want to do a red card base because of the apple. Hmm. Or, no, I think I want to do the red card base. Okay. Ah. That's orange. <laughs> I don't know why my fingers went to the orange. I need red. Do I not have red card stuff? <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Well, I mean open. I have a whole nother pack. Yeah, I'm going to have to open it. That's weird. I didn't know I went through red card stock that fast. Okay. Well, let's open that up then. Unless I want to do... Like a red. No. I'm just thinking. Don't mind me. Oof, that's good. Okay. 
big huge stack of cardstock. Okay, so this is the Hobby Lobby cardstock. Which is a pain to get open. Which I'm gonna do. Ugh. Oh my word. Or maybe I wanna do craft. Oh, let's do craft. Okay. Well, I'm gonna open this anyways because I already started and OCD. So <laughs> I'm not just gonna leave it. <laughs> cool. Okay. We're gonna be awesome with this. Ooh. Okay. So I opened that a little too much, but we're gonna do craft. Cause I have an idea. I do have red ink, don't I? <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna do this and then it's not gonna work how I want it to. Or do I want to do? Okay, okay. You're so, really, you're so indecisive, but this is how things happen. So, it's my watercolor paper. Okay, so we're gonna do a, or a red card base. Make sure it's red, not orange. Maybe I'm colorblind. Okay. So we're going to cut this like how I was talking about before. I don't know where my little post-it note went though. Uh, I think I said 7 by 9. Okay, we're just going to roll with it. And <laughs> okay, so this is the lemon sides. Oh, God. Pull out my arm. Seven. Oh no, nine. We need nine on this side. Right. And then on this side, we need seven. Right. <laughs> I'm second guessing myself. It's a bad habit. Okay. That is right, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I think. I mean, we could always test it out on the envelope. Duh. Alright, and then we have some leftover red, which we'll probably use. That's a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be. And then score at seven and. or no, seven. Three and a half on the seven side. Three and a half. Give it a nice good score. Fold it over. And then bone folder. Squish, squish. And then let's see if that will fit in the envelope. Let's see how we're about half an hour in. I want to keep it too like I'm thinking an hour and a half each Saturday. So let's see. I think it'll be interesting to see like how. Yay, look! Because, like, you normally don't get cards this size. So, actually could have gone quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Because I did, a, it was more of a round. It was still a fraction, but it's more of a rounded number. Rather than, like, three and three-fourths by nine, which would have been... Seven and a half, right? I don't know. <laughs> We're done mathing. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this piece of paper to the craft to 
Oof. And hit myself in the nose while doing it. So this is going to be three and a half by nine. So I need my, actually we're going to, oops, want a little bit of a border. So we're going to do nine and three quarters. Oops, I have to turn it around. <laughs> Nine and three quarters. By three and a half. Or no, three and a three and a quarter. And that will give us a nice border of red all around. Hopefully. So there you go. See, that kind of, there, there. <laughs> the craft background with the craft kind of threw it off. Okay, so now what I'm thinking, well, maybe I'm, I don't want to do that. Let's look at these mustaches. I'm probably going to use this big one. Or should I do? Okay, I'm just gonna do what I originally had planned and then we're just gonna roll with it. Okay, I'm gonna use this craft again. I know it's, oh, it, it's kind of easy to see. Okay. I think it's because I did a later time I originally was going to start it at 10.30, so I'm sorry for starting it later. Alright, I don't think I have any normal red ink, so I'm going to have to use my Stampin' Spots. At least I don't remember having any red ink. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Get the real red. And I'm just gonna take this question mark and be all literal and put some question marks down randomly on this piece of craft. Just all over. I'm not going to worry too much if it has the, like the line from the block. It doesn't really matter. Or maybe, yeah, it's, it's going to bother me. So I'm just going to flip it over and redo it. And make sure I don't press too hard on the like around here or I can even just take my finger and get that ink off if it bothers you. Sometimes it bothers me, sometimes it doesn't. It really just depends. Like if I want it to feel more I guess rustic or like mismoshed. <laughs> And I'll just leave it B. Then sometimes I'm just like, I, I can't stand it. It almost reminds me of the, um, the Riddler from Batman, the older one. I guess there's a newer one too with him in it. All right, let's see how that looks. I'm gonna add a few more around. Just 
just because it looked a little plain. Right, let's see what that looks like. That's kind of cute. All right. I could have went um, landscape, but I don't know. I like the idea of a long vertical card. I'm just going to pound this onto the... That way I won't have to worry about actually cleaning my stamp. Because <laughs> it's become annoying. Because, I mean, sometimes I'll only use one or two stamps every so often. So getting a baby wipe for one or two stamps just gets annoying. So, All right. So I'm going to do... Hmm. I, I think I'm going to do the big one. Because I think that will look the best since it is a bigger card. Just like a big mustache right there. Now I'm wondering if I want to like put another mat down. So it kind of gets kind of skinny. So if I do a white mat, I could do a red. No. I'm just wondering if I want to just stamp over with black or Yeah, let's do that. Right, I'm going to get my black ink out. And get my sketchy letters. And hopefully I don't screw this up. <laughs> Alright, so I need the I. Make sure it's... I think my ink pad is drying out. This might actually not be good because it's so sketchy. It's not a thicker. Yeah, I'm going to use the doodle bug. I think it's doodle bug. Um, Let's see. Yes, Doodlebug Large Alpha. Because I, I don't think that sketchy is going to show up too well on there. So I'm going to use my Doodlebug for this portion. So I need the large eye. It's almost too skinny. I, I wish I had a thicker. I mean, I could use thickers, but. I. And then I need the mustache. Oops. Let's see what time we're we on. Well, we're only in 33 minutes. Wow. Time flies. And then we're going to do the mustache. I mean, sometimes it only takes me, like, generally it takes me 25 minutes to make a card. And that's why I don't normally edit my videos. Because that's how much time it takes me or how much time my memory card has. So we're gonna do the mustache. And 
And then I'm just going to rub it with my fingers because I don't feel like getting out. <laughs> Baby wipe. <laughs> I mean, they're my stamps, so it's not like I'm going to, anybody else is going to use them. So I'm being messy. <laughs> and then I'm, do I want to use just you or do I want to spell out you? <coughs> Hmm. I think I'm going to spell out you because why not? So why? <laughs> oh, and do I want to do all capitals or do I want to do let's do all capitals. Oof. Okay, so now I need to why oh oops and then you and then hopefully I can fit question on there. Or maybe I'll just do a question mark. Like in Sharpie. Actually, the, let's not do capitals because that mustache is a little too small and the alphas are just a little too big. It's all like a proportion thing. You. I know you guys are but like so picky. But <clears throat> and then the little O. Why? Oh and you. Okay. I'm just going to pick it up with my block here, squish it down, get my ink, ink it up, and then squish it down. Make sure it's on there real good. And then I'm going to do A. And I'll probably do that as a capital because it's on its own. I mean, it might look weird. But... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do the little one. <laughs> Alright, so we're doing pretty good on time. wonder what took us so long last time. A. And then let's see if we can spell question. <laughs> Q. Now do I want to do question with a... A capital? I feel like a capital would work the best. <clears throat> Q U question. Where's my E? Spelling this right, right? <laughs> S. Ah, uh, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna fit. <laughs> They're all sticking together.
Unless I do question. <laughs> I might do that. Uh, T. <laughs> I was like, where is it? It doesn't look like a T. I. If. O. N. Is that how you spell it? Is that correct? Too bad I don't have like a hyphen. <laughs> Let's make sure we're spelling this right. Because I don't want to put it on the card and be like, oh, that's wrong. Yep, that's correct. I was questioning my spelling. <laughs> I seem to be fine. So I remembered to make it big this time. Alright. That just looks wrong. Like, can I squeeze it in? Probably not. I wonder if I use the little Q. Oops, I might be able to. And I just <laughs> it kind of bugs me when it goes off like that. But I don't have. Oh, that gives me a lot more space. They almost like fit together. Oops. This is a pain. It's a little wonky. It almost doesn't fit. It's like the end. It's like, no, we're not going to let you. I love the T backwards. <laughs> Oh no, no, it's sticking on my fingers. Now will it fit better? You know, I probably could just <laughs> put it. Oh, I almost spelled it wrong. Because it's I O N. Right? <laughs> Second guessing myself again. Okay. <laughs> Let's just do ah. I could do it sideways. I hate doing that though, because my diagonal sentiment is not good. A little wonky. It's almost cool, though. It's almost like it's falling. Like, question. <laughs> I'm going to end up not liking it. <laughs> Hopefully you can see that pretty well. It's a little low there. Okay, so I think I'm just going to do that. I guess I don't have to tilt my block there. And then this is going to position it. And then I'm going to ink that up. This really awkward <laughs> sentiment. <laughs> okay. I think that's pretty inked up. And let's put it back on. 
Do I want it closer here? Or do I want it far? Right there. Whoa. Oh, the end gets kind of cut off. It's so busy, it's kind of hard to read. Maybe once it's on the red, it'll be good. And then, let's go ahead and put that on there, just to see how it's looking. It's kind of cool. I do wish the mustache was a little bit more predominant, but unless I do, oh, if I use stays on, it might actually come out darker now that I think about it. So let's try that. Actually, I'm going to want to take these little these off so that I can see what I'm doing because I want to line it up perfectly. I don't want kind of like a shadowy mustache thing going on. Okay, so let's use our stays on it. See if that'll work better. I love the smell of stays on. It is delicious. <laughs> it's like chocolate. <laughs> Or not like, it's like chocolate or like, what am I thinking? Black licorice maybe. Okay, I'm going to take this down here so I can see it. Just so I can line it up. Actually, I'm going to stand up and do this. Sorry if you can see my head. Hopefully that's lined up. I have a feeling it's not. It wasn't. Actually, that's kind of cool, though. Huh. I actually kind of like that. I might actually go in with the stays on and redo those letters. How much time do we have? Oh, we got a little bit of time. It's actually a pretty simple card, so. I know you guys are probably like, what the heck? Oh, that's the little eye. But you know what? Sometimes you can't rush cards. <laughs> I had to like look and see which way is which. I don't know why I didn't just use the stays on in the first place, but. Oops, I just put my hand in the ink. I haven't even did anything with the... moon yet. That's awesome though. That looks so much better. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, I'm gonna need a wipey. <laughs> There's no way. Oof. Figures. I don't know what I'm going to do with the moon yet. I might add like a ribbon or something. Like a yellow ribbon. I feel like that's kind of a cop out though. <laughs> Okay, so there's I. So now we need you. Why? Oh. You. I'm just going to place them. Sort of on here. I kind of like how the shadowing looks, though. So, 
I might actually kind of put it off to the center on purpose just because it has a cool look. Get my block a little clean here. I'm just dry it with my hand. Ugh. I think I need to throw that ink pad away. It's getting pretty bad. The shadow just kind of looks cool. That one's a little off there. <laughs> a little more off than what I wanted, but that's okay. It's a handmade card. That is for sure. Okay, so now we need the O and the U for question. And I'm just going to place those back on here. I think it's because it is so faint and that's why it looks okay. It looks more like a shadow than anything else. It might also help that there's, you know, the background. The busy background, you know. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> So now I need E. So much for this video is going to take an hour and a half. Actually, we might make it. It's fun stuff. Oh no. I just moved it a little too much. Oh, why do I have Q? <laughs> I don't need Q. My eye fits right in there. Uh, come on, eye. You can do it. There we go. Fit right into that jigsaw puzzle. Oh no. Trying to make sure it's lined up, you know, as good as it can be. Okay. We'll pick that up. Unstick it. And then go ahead and... I can't believe no one has gotten on the stream yet. But you guys are a mystery to me. <laughs> Can't quite figure out what to do. I can't seem to find something that everybody likes, but I like doing this, so I will probably continue doing this. Uh, that one didn't turn out as good, but. Oh, I forgot A! <laughs> I almost forgot that A! I think I'll start it half an hour earlier next time. Start it at 10.30 at my time. Because the 11 seemed to be a lot longer than what I was thinking. Okay. So, A, almost forgot you. There. 
No, we got him like right on the dot. Problem with this stays on is that it stays on. <laughs> Can't quite remove it all the way. Okay. I got it as much as I could at the moment. Because I don't want to bug the feed too much with just cleaning my stamps. Although I know all of you want to watch that. <laughs> it's the highlight of crafting. Maybe. <laughs> okay, let's see how that looks. I'm going to add some inking around the edges just to give it a little bit more definition. Which I'm wondering if I should pop it up. We'll see after I do this. I decided to go ahead and pop it up. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do. Let's see. Because I mean, it's not going to pop up too much. It's just going to be like that. I kind of like that. So I'm just going to use some foam tape. Because it is the easiest stuff ever. Especially when you have like odd shapes like this. It's not really an odd shape, but it's not the normal not the normal. And like when you would use more than a few dots, that's when I go ahead and use this guy. And let's see what have this yellow, like, stripey paper right beside me. Oh, that looks... Oh, no! I don't know. We'll see about that. <laughs> or I have yellow ribbon. I think. You know, I don't think they have any yellow ribbon. I have orange <laughs> figures. Huh. I don't want to, like, bog it down with like flowers because it's kind of a masculine card. At least that's what I'm kind of going for. Yellow. Yellow, yellow, yellow. What should we do for yellow? Probably nothing to the front because I'm not seeing anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick myself to this here foam tape. <laughs> and then go ahead and put him down. Go ahead and smush him. Smush, 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 smush. And then on the inside, let's go ahead and do a, I'm thinking a strip of, should I do craft on the inside? That's a really harsh red. Do craft and then maybe a little bit of yellow. Yellow and red just, I don't know, their vibe is, not a good vibe. I could do the sentiment in yellow. 
but that's kind of weird. At least I think so. So I need three and a half or three and a quarter by nine or no. Yes. No. By eight and three quarters. So that looks pretty good. I don't know that. That is just so harsh. Huh. Maybe I should do a bunch of mustaches on that side. Or like. Ooh, okay. I'm thinking. <laughs> Sometimes that's a bad thing, but. We're going to take. Let's do this mustache because I think that's going to be the easiest one to cut out. <laughs> Where did my block go? There it is. <laughs> I'm losing stuff. Let's use the stays on again. Now I could just do like mustaches on there, but I'm thinking I'm going to do. mustaches on this yellow striped paper and then cut it out I don't know guys I don't know how am I gonna that red is just harshing me Ooh. Or I could just do like a panel of this like yellow. That might be kind of cute. Okay, let's try that. I mean, we have like 29 minutes for me to decide. I just don't know what to do about that harshness over there. Like maybe put the sentiment on that. Ooh, now we're getting somewhere. Okay, let's try that. We are figuring things out. So how many fingers are you? Happy birthday, how many fingers are you? I do not want that sliding down. I don't know why I just closed that. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay. I'm just going to make sure I have it upside on the right side. I'm thinking, do I want it like this mustache on the side? Actually, I'm going to do it like right here. Make sure it's got a good impression and then lift up. Take my wipey to it, even though I know it's going to stay on there. I mean, and then let's go ahead and cut that out. Gonna do a real thin sliver. Nothing too big. And then there is our yellow. And then I'm just gonna do some mustaches on the other side to kind of kill that. The... Oh no, did I just get ink on that? I did. That's okay. 
uh, just to give that a little bit more uh, I don't know what the word is but just to make it a little less harsh uh, that did not come out good Gotta make sure it gets a good impression. Because this mustache does not seem to want to. Oh, these mustaches don't want to seem to make that good of an impression. I'm really surprised no one is watching. But that's okay. I know it's really late, so. Not a lot of people are on third shift, like me. <laughs> kind of wonder if I should do it all around. Just like all over the paper. I think I will. Uh. <laughs> That's interesting. It's got like a line through it. Giving it mustaches. That's kind of cute. <laughs> Gotta admit. Don't have enough room. <laughs> it's because my block is so big. I should have gotten a smaller one. No time for that. We are improvising this whole thing. <laughs> well, that's the whole point of the story cubes. Improvised card making. Prompted improvised. <laughs> Keep getting my card base in my ink. I need to clear off my desk. I do not have enough room. I'm messy. <laughs> That's the fun part, isn't it? I mean, ugh, holding this block hurts my hand. So this must be fun. Just watching a whole bunch of mustaches go down on a piece of paper. <laughs> They almost look like birds if you're not like paying attention. Ugh. That's okay. We're not gonna worry about that. <laughs> Gosh, this block is gonna be so stained. Okay. Cool, cool. And try and get most of this ink off of this block. Uh, scrub it. Scrub it real good. I have to take some soap and water to it. Oh no, it's it's working pretty good. You just gotta scrub it real good. Isn't that a song? Work it real good. That's by Devo, I believe. Or no, maybe not. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so that's cute. I like how that turned out. So then let's go ahead and put our... I wonder if I want to do the question marks on the... Well, no, because that's going to be where people write. Dear. So I'm just going to use my Craft Bond Elmer's glue. Which I'm gonna ink this up real fast. So that it has a little bit of a definition. So it doesn't just blend into the background. I like this striped paper though, it's kinda cute. 
I just probably wouldn't have chose it to go with the yellow or red, you know, originally, but that's okay. And then this will give them plenty, well, I guess give me plenty of room to write. And it'll be super easy to mail because it's just a business envelope. So, all right, let's go ahead and put some glue on the back of this. I'm not sure what paper line this is from because I just had it in my stash. Give that a good rub down. I think it might actually be like a basics pack. You guys probably know. I mean. And then go ahead and put this down. Center it out. Oops. And not move it. <laughs> and then give it a good rub down. And we are about 10 minutes in. I think that's really all I'm going to do to it. Do I take a quick look though? And for some reason, I always have to come into these corners because they don't want to stay down. Always check your corners. <laughs> All right. I think that is really cute. It's a really good masculine card. Masculine. Which I don't really do very many of. So it's quite, quite the challenge. <laughs> Uh -huh. <laughs> I might actually go around the red with some ink as well because it just looks a little pristine compared to the craft. I, I really like this card. I think it turned out really cool. I'm just going to give it a good... Sorry, I went off camera or er, out of view there. Make sure I get the back too. Oops. And I like how thick it is. It's a nice thickness. It's not like as flimsy as most cards. I think it's really cool. What do you guys think? See, it's kind of hard to see on the craft there. So let's go ahead and move that out of the way. There. I mustache you a question. And then, happy birthday! How many fingers are you? And that's by Shane O'Donnell, age four. <laughs> How many fingers are you? <laughs> it's so cute, but it, it looks like butterflies or like birds. <laughs> it doesn't really look like mustaches. I mean, in the on the camera, it looks like birds and mustaches, but or, you know what I mean. So I'm going to do a mustache on the back right here. So that'll be kind of cool. A mustache you a question. <laughs> I love mustaches. <laughs> They're so cool. I did a um a mustache card before. I didn't show it on camera though. And it had a real mustache on it. So well not <laughs> no. I guess I should reword reword that. It wasn't a real mustache. It was one of those um like Halloween mustaches. It'd be kind of creepy if it was a real one. <laughs> so, I mean, we got 15 minutes to spare, and we changed a lot, changed my mind a lot there. So, that's not too bad, right? So, it's 
because I gave myself that time. I was like, oh, I've got time to change my mind. But I think it's really cute. I like it. And I like this size. I might end up doing more this size. I'm gonna. <laughs> because, I mean, it's easy to come by business size envelopes. And, I mean, it doesn't take up too much more paper than what you normally would use. And I just think it's an adorable size. This is a good, like, Prima doll size. Let's see, where's our envelope? Now I'm going to put a little mustache on the envelope. I should probably stop putting my um, stamp away. <laughs> Look, that, isn't that awesome? So I'm just going to put a little mustache here on the side where, I mean, I don't really like this envelope because it has the little hash marked or whatever, but what do you expect for, actually it's supposed to be like the identity, I forget what it's called protect your identity and whatnot, but for this purpose, I'm just going to put a mustache on it. <laughs> That's adorable. You know, if I ever want a bat stamp, I'm just going to turn this upside down. <laughs> Two uses in one. ka -ching. That's what we all need for our stamps, is to be able to find other uses. But I think it's a really cool stamp. And if you want to know the price, you should go to my haul video in the next week. I think it's on the 26th is when I uploaded it, is when I will upload it. But I think it's adorable. I have that. Okay. I get confused with the whole um, upside down, right side up thing. Because <laughs> I'm not sure what you guys see and don't see. But there you go. A cool little envelope. And a cool card. A very oddly shaped card. Not odd, but a different shape. So we have our apple, which is the red card base. We have our moon, which is the yellow striped paper that our sentiment is on. And then we have our question mark, which is basically our theme. The question marks on the back of the mat. And then the I mustache you a question. And then our question of how many fingers are you? So I think we fulfilled that prompt. What do you guys think? Did we do it or not? <laughs> did we not make it? I think we did. And I think it's a really good card. I mean, I got us and the water fountain. So I think that this is such a fun video, I guess. <laughs> it's a fun activity. I really like this card. I might actually make more of these. And I think it's because I like craft and I like mustaches. So it's just like both of my favorite, well, a few of my favorite things. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a crazy night or morning a crazy day I guess I should say <laughs> like I normally say and I hope you're having a crazy crafty day and it's not too crazy good crazy not bad crazy and I will see you guys in the next video goodbye